Hey everyone, it's Anthony from Pretty Printer here. In today's video, I'll be talking about how to use environment variables and a file that is defined through an environment variable in your Flask application configuration. So what I mean to do will make more sense once I actually write the code. But before I get to that point, I have this Flask cheat sheet. If you don't have the cheat sheet already, it's a nice reference on how to do common things in Flask. So if you want to download this cheat sheet, just go to prettyprinted.com slash Flask cheat sheet, all one word, and you can download the cheat sheet. I'll have a link in the description below as well. So to get started, the first thing I'll do is I'll write some basic code. So from flask import flask and all I want to do is add some simple configuration so for demonstration purposes I'll just have debug but of course in your application you'd have many more configuration values presumably so app run there so the configuration value that I'm going to use to demonstrate this is the debug one so as you know already, if I did something like this, app config debug equals true, then that would set the app into debug mode. So if I exit out here and start it again, you'll see that the debugger is active, meaning that the app is in debug mode. And if I make a change, like I add a space there, then it automatically restarts. So that's pretty common stuff. So you know that debug mode is working. So what I want to do is I actually want to move that configuration to a separate file. So in a production environment, perhaps you wouldn't want to keep all the configuration values for your production environment in the same project as your app. So you can kind of separate them out and you can specify kind of a generic file that will hold your configuration. And then Flask would go and get that configuration file when it starts up on whatever server. So if it's your local machine, you can have one configuration file for you know test values. And then for production, you can have different values. So I have this config.cfg that's in the same directory as my project. So what I'll do now is I'll exit out of the app. And instead of having app config debug equals true, what I'll do is I'll change this to get from an environment variable. So app config from env var, and then I'm going to specify a name of an environment variable, which I haven't created yet, but I'll create it in just a moment. So this environment variable will be, let's say, app settings. Okay, so here I want to create the environment variable. So what I'll do is export app settings. And this is going to be the file that I just created. Since it's in the directory that I'm working in, I can do a relative path or I can use an absolute path. I'm going to use a relative path here though. So app settings is config.cfg. So now that is exported, when my Flask app runs, it's going to look for that app settings environment variable once it finds it is going to look into the file and find all the lines that start with an uppercase meaning those are configuration values and it will take whatever those values are assigned to so in this particular case debug equals true and we should be able to see that once i run the app so python app and you can see the debugger is active again so if i close this out and i change debug to true over or debug to false here and run the app again, we see that it's no longer in debug mode. So that's verification that the configuration is being pulled from this config.cfg file. So if you want to have a file like that in your application, you can do it pretty easily. Just export the name of some environment variable that points to the file. And it can be an absolute path or a relative path. So now what I want to do is I want to use Python's built-in functionality to get actual environment variable values directly. So let's say I want to store some value in an environment variable. So it's never going to be in a file. Instead, it's going to be in an environment that wherever your app is running, I can still get that value. So what I have to do is I need to import from OS, which is built into Python, import E-N-V-I-R-O-N, so environ import that and 
an example of this could be something like maybe you have a programmer working on an app and you have a payment functionality, let's say through Stripe. And with Stripe, you have some kind of secret key so you can access their API. You don't want your programmer to know about this secret key because you don't want them to steal for you, from you for whatever reason you don't trust them. So you can create an environment variable on the server where the programmer presumably doesn't have any access. And then the application will pull from that environment variable. This is just one use case. That's the first thing that came to mind. So what I'll do here is I'll just create a really simple environment variable. So export, let's say Stripe API key. And I'll just put uh, one, two, three, four, five. So in my app, what I'll do is app config Stripe API. I'm going to call OS that environment or just environ. I don't need the OS dot get and then Stripe API key. That's what I named the environment variable. Yes. So just to verify that this is working correctly, what I'll do is I'll create a route that simply shows what the environment variable is. I will simply return this. I'll wrap it in a header tag, app config, Stripe API. Close that out. So now let me run this and see if I get one, two, three, four, five. So the app is running. I'll go here and I see one, two, three, four, five. So nowhere in my code have I written that number down. It's only in the environment variable, but since I have it in the environment variable, I can access it in my Flask app. And if you were using something like Heroku, I know Heroku has a really easy setup for environment variables. So if you wanted to use that and get the environment variables from Heroku, you would use something similar to this. And if you are comfortable with putting your environment variables in a file, then you can use the, the first approach that I showed you. So that's all I wanted to talk about in this video. If you have any questions about this, just let me know in the comments below and I'll get to them. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please subscribe. Uh, check out prettyprinted.com for Flask courses. And if you want to get the cheat sheet, just go to prettyprinted.com slash Flask cheat sheet. So thank you for watching this video and I will talk to you next time.